welcome back everybody battle. we are prepared for battle and we are live and it is s4 gonna be playing the queen of pain side of this matchup he's playing the radiant side he's gonna be uh picking up an early pair of observer wards he did it as the lion he's doing it again as the queen of pain kuroki opted to skip the observer wards last game and it looks like he's opting to skip them again so an interesting divergence in strategy here also s4 not scouting with the courier again i thought maybe the reason he wasn't scouting with it last game was because he didn't he was too risky up against queen of pain she can kill it a lot easier um Right, I'm sorry, that was Kuroki scouting last game. No, no, it was it was S4 scout, not scouting with the courier last game, and Kuroki was. So I figured, oh man, it's been a long day, what could I say? But <laughs> I figured that maybe the reason for that was, oh, you're up against Queen of Pain? She can easily kill that courier with Blink if she gets scouted out, since it is walking. Uh, and now, yeah, now we do see it going out, so Kuroki just likes that courier scout. Something which S4 could exploit if he sees it. He's got, oh, he's got wards of both both places here. Kuroki's got to be careful. The courier cannot go onto the low ground yet. If the courier walks down this hill too soon, S4 could kill it. But he's going to leave it up the hill. It should be safe. Now it goes down, just in time to see the rune. And it's got to get right away. Means. That little backpack ain't going to protect him from the fearsome blades of Queen of Pain. Should be okay. S4. He had, a he had the better creep block last time. Let's see if he can do it again. You notice just a lot of little back and forth movements. He's constantly clicking to the right and then to the left. Uh, whereas Kuroki, more just pressing that stop key, and it's something you don't get as good of a block if you do that. And his melee creep is going to move slightly forward. You'll notice S4, he lets the range creep slip through. The range creep's going to tank. Uh, without that range creep, that's the big source of damage. So Kuroki's lane is going to start to push, and you see him already going for the denies. Last game, we saw S4 using that earth spike right away as soon as the heroes started trading blows. Uh, so just trying to get the edge and harass me. Kuroki throws out the stun, but it's not at the best moment. S4's up on the hill, so not ideal timing for that. And as a result, well, his lane's pushing. He's got two range creeps now. And with the lane pushing, he'll be on the low ground soon. And then it gets harder and harder to last hit. So, so far, so good. CS pretty even for both players. Denied. But now S4 first to strike with that deny. Whenever it's a ranged hero versus a ranged hero, denies really do make a difference. Melee heroes, they still get, I think, two-thirds of the experience, but with the ranged heroes, it's quite a bit less. I forget the exact number, but I know it's significantly less, and something you really want to avoid. Actually even using Shadow Strike to last hit under the tower. Well, not something you normally see, but he's he's trying to get that bottle out as quickly as possible. Kroki does take this opportunity with the lane being pushed to get the top rune, but S4 is already 8-1, and one, now 9-1. and one. Kuroki is getting badly out CS'd. And I say that because S4 is going to be able to deny quite a few of these creeps. Lion, oh boy, there's the stun. But when S4 is jumping in, it's when he's got the creep wave. So Kuroki can't stand there and trade blows. Lion having that, that one base armor and the really low agility gain, he's going to fall behind when it comes to a harass ward. And S4, he went for early stats, so he maintains the superior auto attacking. Right out the scream, taking a bit of damage, a little bit more than he would like. Not really uh, a favorable engagement for him. And there is no Hex, actually. He's gone. Has he gone for stats? Has he really gone for stats? Wow. Kroki goes for stats? Double we saw last damage. game the Mana Drain build, which is a little bit unorthodox, but to entirely skip Mana Drain as well as the Hex is very unusual. I wonder what Kuroki's up to here. Uh, it's not going to help you rune control. I, I guess just feeling like he's getting out less hit, he needs the extra stats, but... Already taking a lot of harassment. That's trouble. The bottle's on the way. It's only a level 1 scream, but even that level 1 scream can give you that extra little bit of burst. A blink into a shadow strike, into a scream after one or two auto attacks. That could be first blood. Kuroki has a salve, but you can see that one point in shadow strike just so helpful. It prevents your enemy from salving up. Now he's going to salve. S4 is immediately going to blink forward and look to cancel this one. He will cancel it. And with that double damage, even though the salve mostly healed him back up, it takes a good chunk away. Very unusual, this Lion build. Just not something I've ever seen, uh, especially in 1v1. You know, it's one thing to go for stats as Lion in some situations, but the new Mana Drain, just so much Mana burned off of your opponent, uh, and very, very spammable. And even Hex, Hex has gotten a buff. It's a four-second disable at level four, and I believe it's stronger at the earlier levels, too. That's for thinking about blinking in but not doing it. I forget exactly, but I think it got buffed a little bit at all levels. I know at level 4 it's definitely stronger though, but no. to not take a point in either is very Radiant's curious. Well, someone in the chat can attack. probably puzzle it out, but it doesn't really seem to be working. 
Kuroki's getting destroyed right now. 20 to 9 for S4. You can see all the little Radiant touches starting to add up. Shadow Strike and Creep under, under his tower. Just making sure he's not yeah. missing last hits. Getting the early bottle out. Getting the early wards to see the Lion moving around. So if Lion does get a rune, S4 will know about it. He wants to guess a rune. This is trouble because S4 will win in a trade of blows. He needs a rune here or he is very screwed. This could be the game. This might be the game. In fact, I think it is the game. There's no hex. There's no way out. S4 blinks forward. Kuroki, no. He's got one bottle charge, but I don't think that's going to be sufficient. One more auto attack. S4 gets the first blood. Oh, sorry. I said game. I was thinking it was one kill and the game's over. Brain just farting all over the place today, but it's not game, but it is a lot of trouble. 20 and 11, already about to hit level 6, controlling the runes, has his boots up now, and wow. Man, the new format that we're using just confused me because I was thinking, oh, hey, in game three, it's a one kill and you win the series. I can't even keep our own rules straight. Fire LD. We've already fired gods. Let's get rid of LD and then the cat can do the rest. Elgato, it all rests on you. But we'll have to wait to fire me until after today. So S4, level six already. Is going to have that level four scream coming out soon. Still has his observers up for another minute or so. Kuroki, no boots. Still no points in Hex or Mana Drain. He's taken two levels in stats now. I would love to pick his brain about this, because this is just very unusual. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Kuroki's a smart player, but uh, I'm not seeing it right now. It doesn't seem to be working. S4 is also just playing incredibly well. As far as net worth goes, I hesitate to look. I mean, the real, the real damage is level 6 Queen of Pain, level 4 Lion. This could be the end. This could be the end for Kuroki. Nah, he's too far back. That's a little bit too Dyer's much. But as far as not done, he's going to walk back in. He's got another Shadow Strike. Is he even going to use it? I think just a Scream. Oh, he doesn't have Mana for the ult. But one Blink, one Scream. He could get this kill. Earthspike was already used. That's your game. GG. S4 takes the series. 2-0. Dominate. Has a, a bit of a tougher time as Lion, but wins his Lion. And then just crushes as Queen of Pain. Very impressive stuff from him. Dyer's middle tower that wraps it up for attack. this series, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. That was a bit of a shorter series than... At least what I expected, but hey, S4 showed that he is a fearsome force in that.